A bill that would allow teachers to carry guns in Pennsylvania schools is advancing through the state legislature. The bill, sponsored by a local Republican senator, passed in the state Senate last night. Lisa Washington explains. The vote on Senate Bill 383 came after an hour-long debate on the Senate floor Wednesday night. The legislation, introduced by Senator Don White of Indiana County, gives local school boards the option to have licensed and trained staff carry firearms. This bill is not about the Second Amendment. This is about our kids. It's about giving Pennsylvania's 500 school districts greater choices when it comes to protecting our most precious resource, our children. Senator White said the measure was proposed to him by a math teacher following the 2014 stabbing at the Franklin Regional High School. The state Senate passed the bill by a vote of 28 to 22. That you can have a community conversation as to what fits your local needs. The bill was amended to require the school personnel to pass a psychological exam. The school boards would have to notify local hospitals and students' families staff member is given permission to access a firearm. There are varying opinions from politicians and parents. I think that is an insane idea. I think in, uh, what we want teachers and principals to, to, to do is to teach our children and not to, um, to assume that those individuals would have the wherewithal, either the, the capability, the presence of mind to use a firearm in, in, in a situation like that is, a, is an outlandish expectation. I'm not sure about that, but there is discussion about the security guards not being armed, and to me, um, what's the purpose if they can't protect us fully? I think they can think about it a little bit more, not rush to a decision. Teachers have so many other things to think about. Just having to secure a weapon in the classroom and keep it away from the students. The bill has passed the state Senate and it still needs House approval. Governor Tom Wolf says he opposes it. Reporting downtown, Lisa Washington, KDKA TV News.